Welcome STEM enthusiasts. Today we have Women in STEM, the 2023 STEM Discovery Campaign, the STEM Alliance, and the return of the experiment. This is Scientix TV. Okay. The 8th of March was the International Women's Day. Globally, women obtain 53% of STEM university degrees. But in the EU, only 34% of graduates in the field are women. One of the reasons behind this gap is the gender bias predominant in science, whether it be in education or in the professional fields, and even in scientific research, where women are often overlooked and go unrecognized for their achievements. How do we get more women into STEM? Do we just clone the ones we have? Oh, hello. Oh, hi. Um, not sure that's the solution. Well, probably not. But how about we discuss women in STEM and some of the projects available through Scientix to promote STEM regardless of the gender of the children? Sounds good. Tell us. Well, I have two examples. I have GEM and Robo Girls. Now, for first GEM, GEM is about empowering girls to embrace their digital and entrepreneurial potential coordinated by ICSE, the International Center for uh, STEM Education. Now, the project organized STEM summer schools for girls aged 12 to 18 and offered guidelines for teachers to replicate these activities in their schools and communities. The guidelines include learning scenarios and give teachers practical guidance on how to schedule and facilitate an event, how to plan the dissemination, and even more useful tips on the resources and budget needed for the summer school. Very interesting. Uh, they have many resources for teachers, I see, but what about Robo Girls? So, the Robo Girls was coordinated by the Faculty of Engineering and Computing of the University of Zagreb. The project aimed at building the capacity of educators to organize and implement innovative experiential STEAM activities and events using robotics and coding. The project developed an e learning platform with uh, open educational resources, including lesson plans, experiential workshops, and thematic activities for primary and secondary levels. On the project website, teachers also have access to an interactive gamified career simulator for, to help girls aged 9 to 17 to pursue a STEM career in the future. Thank you very much. That shows uh, that we have many resources for teachers that can use to encourage more girls into STEM, which might be better than cloning because it's quite exhausting and, frankly, weird. There are also a lot of interesting activities and events available on the STEM Discovery Campaign map that can inspire teachers to organize gender-sensitive and gender-neutral STEM activities. If you connect to the STEM Discovery Campaign map, uh, you will find a range of activities and events, such as the reflection sessions, with women engineers and mathematicians, a career talk where students spoke to PhD students who are exploring plasma physics, or any twinning project activity dedicated to women innovators. Now let's welcome Sonia Kurzel, who's going to tell us a bit more about the competitions during the STEM Discovery campaign and how can teachers participate. Hi, Agueda. Of course. The STEM Discovery Campaign every year organizes a range of competitions for teachers. And each one of these competitions encourages teachers to trial STEM resources, prepare new STEM lessons, or even organize STEM career activities with their students. This year, there are a lot of very cool prizes to win, from Scientix Awards to invitations to exciting workshop in the Future Classroom Lab in Brussels with paid accommodation and flights. There are seven competitions organized this year on various topics such as information technologies, open schooling, arts and science, digital heritage, nature-based solutions and STEM careers. You can see the different competitions on the screen, so make sure to check out the STC portal for more information. And Ageda, we've also made a short video for teachers on how to submit their entries to the competitions. Check it out. Thank you, Sonia. There are a lot of exciting opportunities for teachers this year, and we will have a great time at the workshop. Now, some of these 
competitions are supported by STEM Alliance partners. And for that, we have the Ivana Kovac to tell us more about the STEM Alliance. Welcome, Ivana. Hi, Agata. And hello, everyone, for, on behalf of the STEM Alliance. Uh, the STEM Alliance focuses a lot on collaboration with different industry partners and with different projects. And as every year, we are a strong supporter of the STEM Discovery Campaign, which is a very busy period for us. And this year, our partners are present in many aspects of uh, the STEM Discovery Campaign. Intel is inviting teachers to explore their amazing skills for innovation and submit their uh, stories of implementation. Train Technologies is supporting NBS competition and MOOC. And of course, we have the Professionals Go Back to School competition. We have just finished an amazing journey with Microsoft, where during the three weeks closed workshops, teachers got to learn about Minecraft education and different topics one can actually explore and while enjoying the in-game coding, which is creativity, problem solving skills, developing empathy, and so on. Soon, we will also have a webinar with our partner Screever, and we invite you to join us on the 12th of April. We are also working together with the Career Advisors Network and preparing some interesting networking activities where teachers will learn more about the STEM careers directly from the STEM professionals. So as you can see, we do not have one offer that fits everyone. Rather than that, we listen to the needs of teachers and also focus on the priorities set by our partners. With that, we do our best to create activities to address uh, STEM challenges and bridge the gap that exists between industry and education sector. And once again, teachers, if you haven't already, you still have some time, check out the STEM Discovery Campaign competitions. Send us your submissions, and if you're the lucky winners, see you soon in Brussels. Thank you, Ivana. Education and industry collaboration is key in making sure that we improve STEM education in Europe. And we're very proud of the work that the STEM Alliance is doing. Now, it's time for the experiment. We have today Liliana Fernandes, one of our scientists ambassadors from Portugal, and she's here to share with us a very cool experiment to introduce Earth concepts in early ages. Check it out. So, when you're studying the solar system and our planets, one of the most popular questions students ask is, teacher, what's under our feet? So, this is a simple activity which you can perform and it will make the magic sparkle in your student's eyes. You just need very simple materials from day to day, like napkins. You will need four different napkins, a white, an orange, a red, and a yellow napkin, and a blue balloon. Then you will need a pair of scissors to make one cut and an exacto knife. With all this, you are going to lead your students to build a model of planet Earth. You start by crumbling the white napkin between your hands like this until you have a nice tight white ball. Then you crumble the orange napkin around it like this until you have a nice orange ball. And then the red napkin and you crumble it. It's coming a little bit hard, but don't worry, your students will manage it. And it will be a fun moment, which will lead to a very fun learning moment. Okay, so now after you crumble the yellow napkin, you should have a really nice yellow ball. And now comes the tricky part in which you can lead your students to work in pairs. So you grab the blue balloon, you open it and carefully insert the ball inside the balloon, like this. And you insert it inside, and you get a small ball, like this. Then you tie a knot in order to make it a model, okay? And then, using your scissors, you just cut what comes extra in after the nut like this and you should get a really cool blue ball so then you use your exacto blades and you make very carefully a clean cut this is the part in which your students should have adult supervi supervision and then you get with this clean cut you get a model of what's under your feet these are the inner layers of our planet. You have the inner core, 
the outer core, the mantle, and the crust. And on top of it, the blue surface from which our planet is very well known. So a very simple activity, very fun to do in your classroom with very simple materials and which will make your students eyes glow and learn what's under our feet. Thank you very much, Liliana, for sharing this very cool experiment we can do with small children. It's never too early to get excited about science. We're reaching the end of the Scientix episode. Remember to share it, like it, subscribe, and tell us what you liked in the comments. And remember, you can include watching Scientix TV episodes in the STEM Discovery Campaign app, and it counts for the competitions. See you next time. Thank <laughs> you.